We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Seward, Nebraska, and it is a privilege to get to visit with the head coach of the Concordia Bulldogs, Coach Patrick Daberko, in his eighth season with the program. Coach, uh, I know it's been a busy day for both of us. We were smiling about that off the air just a moment ago. It's, but it's it's a fun time of year still, too, because, you know, it's getting close to the start of the, of the season. And even so, you have some time to still, you know, work on some other things and see how it's all going to shape out. Looking back, 5-5 five and five last season, a one-game improvement on the season before. And, and I think it stands out to me that you all are 20-18 and 18 over the past four years. So you're above 500, a program that – that again seems to be going the right direction. Yeah, we certainly feel so. Um, you, you mentioned that uh, five and five record last year. You know, we, we had some really, really tight games that came down to a play at the end, and uh, you know, those plays at the end usually mean that there was a play in the middle of the second quarter. Um, if that would have went differently, you know, you look at those games, and um, you know, we uh, we had some real tight ones that we we didn't finish that we should have, and um, you know, you look back and. You can't really regret because um, you know God takes us through some some different things at different times, and um, we ultimately didn't make the right play calls and we didn't make the right plays at the right moments. Um, and uh, we are we are fixing to not make those same mistakes. Um, we got a very confident group going into 2024, and we're really excited for the for the season to come. I read somewhere, of course, Jake Nagel, who is the fantastic sports information director there for Concordia. Love reading his stories. He does a great job. But uh, I, I had seen he posted that uh, th- this is the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, we really feel confident about things, and um, you know, anytime that you can go in and go, hey, I like, I like our guys. Um, I, I, I don't care what's across from us. You know, we feel pretty confident that we have what we need. Um, it's a good feeling going into the season and everybody's undefeated in the summer. And so that's, uh, you know, that's not lost on me. Um, everyone, I think a lot of people are optimistic. I think that if you look at our um, situation, you can, you can logically go, okay, yeah, they have reason to be optimistic. Um, and so, so we're, I, I'm excited because of our locker room. We've just really got a good quality group of young men um, who, uh, who have worked really hard to position themselves to, uh, to be a contender this year, we feel. Let's let's go ahead and, and start previewing then, and, and I think the place that that stands out to me is is the offensive line, and you know, I like to talk about the line, see what the coaches say about that too. But you, know, you have a lot of returning depth from last year's two deep at the end of the season. Nine of those ten players there on the line are returning to play for the Bulldogs this season. Yeah, we're really excited about those guys. Um, you know, the offensive line doesn't get a lot of credit, so. Uh, you know, it kind of starts with Jackson Anderson uh, up front, our starting center, and uh, Tyler Walford and Toby Hager and Christian Schlepp, Blake Schlegel, Cohen Carpenter, Nate Miller, Seth Moore. Um, there's just a lot of guys who, uh, who who work really hard in that room. Coach Cook does a phenomenal job with our offensive line. I think he's just, uh, you know, coaching offensive line. I've coached a lot of positions. The one year that I coached offensive line, um, there was uh, – it's just a different group. You know, you go from coaching defensive backs to coaching the offensive line, and it's like uh, a little bit of a shock to the system just because they're, they're just um, such down-to-earth fun guys. And uh, let's not say our DBs aren't. They are too. But um, that, that group is just a little bit different to coach because they're just selfless. And and another example of that would be a guy like, you know, Noah Shadle and, um, and some others who have been in, in the program and just buying time and, um, and, and putting in work. Well, behind that line, and I know they're going to give a lot of protection to the folks we're going to talk about right now. I mean, DJ McGarvey, especially that quarterback position who returns, and he was putting up fantastic numbers for you, has been in his time there as well. But uh, he also has a familiar face to throw to. Austin Jablonski is coming back. Jablonski with a great season, followed uh, a great season from Correll Colmus, you know, the year before that. Uh, you've had some solid play and some great connections there, the, the quarterback to, to receiver. Talk a little bit more about the offense. Yeah, we're excited about what we're doing offensively. Um, Greg Nelson and uh, Coach Cook and um, Vince Beasley, uh, Justin Hoffman, uh, they're, they're all doing a phenomenal job coaching. We have a young coach named Jackson Camp um, who used to play here, and uh, Devin Ziegler is going to step in from being our starting running back last year to being a, an assistant running backs coach. And, uh, we're just excited about um, about that group, and 
Um, you know, offensively, we feel like we, we have guys uh, with some returning experience. Austin Jablonski is, I believe, uh, one of the most dynamic players in the NAIA. I think other coaches agreed with that when he was voted um, uh, to the All-American list. Uh, he led the nation in receptions and, and, and yards last year uh, receiving. And so, you know, we have reason to be hopeful there. Um, I think if you're going to put one guy on Austin, then you're going to have um, – we like our matchup. And if, if you're going to double team them, then we feel like we can take advantage of things other places um, because we just have a really good receiving core and tight end group and skill positions. And so, uh, yeah, we're definitely excited about uh, what those guys all bring to the table. Mark Arp and Carlos Colazzo are coming back. Tyler Douglas is another name that uh, at running back. And then, you know, like our tight end group is, uh, is very deep. Dalen Russell's got some returning experience and we've got some more competition um, at that, at that, spot and then um you know guys like max bartles who have been a little bit under the radar uh during their career you know we expect him to have a, a great season and we have some guys coming in uh that we, we really feel can play and and then adam van cleve will come back he, he made some big plays for us early in the season last year before he got injured and so just a lot of reasons to be excited we're visiting now with Patrick Daverco here, the head co- football coach for the Concordia Bulldogs on Midwest Sportsnet. And I encourage you, please subscribe to the channel. We'd like talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. I'll talk about the defense a little bit and a name that uh, anyone who's been following Concordia for any length of time now would know is Michael Grandy there and leading tackler last season. And he's been around the program a day or two, hasn't he, Coach? Yeah, he has. I, I think the guys jokingly refer to him as Grandpa on the team. <laughs> Um, he's getting married this summer, and um, and he's I think he's 24 right now. Uh, he spent a couple of years coaching high school football and missed the game, and uh, just made a pivot with his life and made some major life uh, changes and decisions for the better. Uh, wanted to better himself and have college football be part of his experience, and uh, just a just a very um, passionate, um, aggressive young man who's just going to do great things, and really excited about the leadership that he's brought to our locker room. Um, he does a lot of unseen things. Um, he does a lot of work in that hours that other people are sleeping. Um, he's a show up early, uh, stay late guy, and um, just can't help but but respect a guy like that. And, and then, you know, Nick Leader and uh, CJ Yurkup will be back at linebacker. We have some other promising guys uh, who, who came up last uh, spring through, uh, through some position moves that we're excited about, too. Um, we got a deep linebacker room, and so we feel good about them rest of the defense and I, I know you talked about defensive backs a little bit earlier uh but uh on that line too kyle sterrup returning for you and 19 tackles for loss last season yeah yeah kyle is kyle's got some really long arms and kyle has a motor that just doesn't stop like he's got um he's got that that pursuit to the football he understands that like that that seems to be in his dna and that's something that coach Oson and coach lonnie uh work really hard to instill in, in our guys um you know, and, and so we get we get him back, and then we also get you know Tal Solo and Devon Pauly, uh, Carson Fellhofer. Uh, those guys are all all guys who have made big plays for us in the past. Stephen Hughes, Carson Adams, Joe Cars. Um, we have we have a good group of, of guys coming back that, that we feel um, feel have worked to position themselves to be really good, and um, you know guys like Reed McFadden and um, other guys who have who've been in the program for a while and are just earning their keep and, um, and, and fighting for time. And it's, it's fun to see that competition. Uh, and it's fun to see those guys maximize their opportunities and, and just cheer for each other when they're not in, um, because we're, we're, we are a, a unified locker room and that's really important to us. That that's is important. That's a, that's a big thing, coach special teams, Peyton Atwood, the kicker last year, he'll have some competition. I think there's some competition all around, uh, from the special teams facet of the game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and we really feel like um, competition brings out the best in everybody as long as you frame it right. I think there's a way to frame it where it can create dissension. But, uh, you know, we, we believe that we have a, you know, when you, when you remove the egos from, from the, the situation, then then things become healthy. The competition can be healthy. But if it's ego-driven, then, it, then it's unhealthy. Uh, we got a lot of guys who are uh, putting others ahead of themselves and, that's, that's really something that we, we feel like um, our guys do a good job of here. So, uh, you know, Admir Moikic was a guy who did a lot of kickoffs for us last year. Peyton Atwood handled most of the field goals. Um, but John Fellhofer's been working hard. Um, 
Uh, Braxton Cook came in a semester and has really uh, has really impressed. And Jason Goodhart is another guy who's who's kicked for us. And so you know we have a we have a full room with that, and um, we expect uh, expect healthy competition again this year. Well, all gets underway a little more than two months from now. August 31st, that is a Saturday. You guys are at home for your first two contests. You get to welcome Waldorf into the Great Plains Athletic Conference. Uh, first week of the season, Waldorf coming to town, and then an always tough opponent in Morningside coming to Seward the following week on September 7th, and your first road game is on the road at Dakota Wesleyan. Tell us about the opening to your schedule. Yeah, we're excited about um, being able to play under the light for the first two games. Uh, anytime you can go Bulldog Stadium with the lights on, uh, it, you feel like you almost have an advantage going into that situation. And uh, this is a tough conference. And, um, it, you know, Waldorf is going to be a great fit for the GPAC, and we're excited to, to, to have them and host them for our, our first home opener. And, and then, uh, you know, we're very familiar with Morningside and Dakota Wesleyan, and we're very eager to play them. Uh, can't wait. All right. Season gets underway again, August 31st. That is at home for Concordia. Again, welcoming Waldorf into the conference. Coach Patrick Deverco, thank you so much for your time. We always appreciate getting to visit with you here on Midwest Sports Net. And, and of course, we're going to follow you this season. So success to the Bulldogs. Thanks again. Thank you, Joey. Appreciate everything you do.